Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Ubersuggest, a free word research tool that can help you optimize your blog posts for SEO. Ubersearch is a web-based tool that helps you find the best keywords for your website and optimize your SEO. You can also track your rankings, backlinks, traffic, and much more. Ubersuggest has many features that can help you create better content for your audience and rank higher on Google. Today, I'm going to walk you through some of the most useful features, such as the keyword overview section, where you can get data on any keyword you're interested in, such as volume and SEO difficulty, the keyword ideas report, where you can get a list of related keywords and see how hard or easy they are to rank for, the content ideas report, where you can see the most popular blog posts based on any keyword, the traffic analyzer, where you can see the traffic and keywords for any domain name and see the top pages and keywords for each site, and the site audit report, where you can see the SEO issues of any site and get recommendations on how to fix them. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding understanding of how to use Ubersuggest to do keyword research and improve your SEO. So let's get started by going to neilpatel.com forward slash Ubersuggest. And from there, you're going to go into the top right hand corner and click on sign in. And because we don't have an account yet, you're just going to go down to register here at the bottom. And then you can either sign up using a Google account or using your email and password. Once you've created an account, you'll be asked to enter your website's URL. So just do that and click next. Then you need to select your language and location. Click add and then click next. And here it's going to suggest some keywords that you currently rank for. And you need to select the ones that you do rank for already. Add as many as you want. And when you're done, hit next. And now you've got your competitor analysis. And here you need to add some of your competitors. So again, go through the list and select as many as you want and then click next. And then it says, do you want to grow your traffic? Just hit yes. And then you need to enter some details such as your name and your email. So go ahead and enter all of that and click finish. And once you're done, you'll be brought to your dashboard. The first tool we're going to look at is the keyword overview. So go to keyword research and hit keyword overview. And in here, you're going to enter a keyword. We're going to use dog toys, for example, and then click search. And this is going to show you the search volume, the SEO difficulty, the paid difficulty and the cost per click for your keyword. And if you scroll down, you can see you've got some keyword ideas here. So these are related keywords that you might rank for. And it shows you again the search volume, the CPC and the paid difficulty. And underneath that, you've also got content ideas. So these are blog posts that are currently ranking for this keyword. Not only does it show you the title of the page and the URL, but it also shows you the number of visitors, the backlinks and the number of shares this page has got on social media, such as Facebook, Pinterest and Reddit. If we scroll back up to the keyword ideas and click on view all keyword ideas, that's going to take us to the keyword ideas page, which you can also navigate to on the left sidebar. And here it's going to give you all of the keyword ideas and it's going to show you again, the volume, the CPC, everything from before. And at the top here, you can see you've got suggestions related. You've also got questions, which is really helpful. Those are the questions that people are searching for that involve the keyword that you've entered. So that can be really helpful for answering questions in blog posts. Also here at the top, you've got some filters so you can filter your results based on the volume, the SEO difficulty and the CPC. So ideally you want to be looking for results that do have a lot of search volume and have a low SEO difficulty. If you go back down to your results, you can actually sort them by highest volume to lowest volume by clicking on the down arrow next to volume. And you can see that has brought up the keywords that are being searched for the most. So in this case, it's dog toys that are indestructible. And if you click on this icon here, it shows you which search results are ranking for that. So when you're looking for keywords to use, you want to find something that has a high search volume, but a low SEO difficulty. And those are the words that you want to use in your blog posts. We can now head to the content ideas page on the left sidebar, and that's going to show us the pages that are ranking highest for the keyword that we've entered. You've got the list here on the left hand side, and it shows you the estimated views, the number of backlinks and the social shares. And you can click on each of these links to see what the page looks like. And then if we go back to our content ideas, you can click on keywords here and it's going to show you the exact keywords 
that this page is ranking for. So it's going to be different for each page. And again, it's going to show you things like the SEO difficulty and the CPC. And over here, you can see the backlinks. So you can see the exact pages that are linking to this page. So lots of really useful information on this page that should give you some content ideas for your blog. Next, we'll take a look at the traffic overview page. You can find it here on your left sidebar. And this is how you're going to analyze your competitors' most successful keywords. So at the top here, you're gonna enter one of your competitors' domain names, <clears throat> and you can select the country and language and then click search. And here you can see the organic keywords, the organic monthly traffic, the domain authority, and the number of backlinks that this URL has. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see their top SEO pages, uh, the number of visits they have and the number of backlinks, as well as the number of social shares that they have. And then if you scroll down to the bottom here, you've got your SEO keywords, and these are the words that they are ranking for. So this is gonna give you some ideas of keywords that you could use on your site. Finally, we come over to the left and we're gonna take a look at labs and the keyword generator. In here, you're gonna enter your website's domain and click next. You can add your location and you can be a lot more specific than just the country. You can enter a city if local business is important to you and then click next again. So on the left here, you've got keywords based on your content on your website already. On the right here, you've got keywords that your competitors are ranking for, but you don't. So these are some good ones to focus on as well. So there you have it. Ubersuggest has loads of really useful tools that you can use to find keywords to implement on your website and hopefully rank better. Thanks for watching.